Man, it's been a long time since I've heard from Angry Drill Sergeant. <gasps> My Drill Sergeant sense is tingling, but that can only mean one thing. Some dumb private is getting kicked out of the army because he tried to break into basic training? Yeah. Yeah. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's fucking me. First we got an idiot trying to rob a fucking bus of children to get out of basic training. Now we got this idiot who's breaking into basic training. Oh, and speaking of dirt bags, do you want to say something before I kick this thing off? And now before we get started, we gotta make me some of that money. Because today's sponsor comes from the fantastic hills of Humboldt County. Because our friends at Kenna dips with their fantastic tobacco smokeless and nicotine free dip alternative are here with a hell of a deal. They're introducing the limited Humboldt pack with these four fantastic delicious flavors. Exclusively for 420. Strawberry Cough, Gorilla Glue, Maui Wowie, and OG Kush. Mm. Packed with flavor, these things are going to taste like you just cropped them out of the field. If you go to canadips.com and using code ANGRY30, you can get 30% off of your Humboldt Pack order. Now, although it says CBD all over it, that don't mean it's got THC in it. So don't you fret about pissing hot in one of your tests. And that means you can legally start out your day with a little bit of strawberry cough or some Maui Waui with the island flavors tickling your tongue. The possibilities are endless. Well, there's four of them, but you know what I mean. And remember, this is just a limited edition supply, so you better get while the getting's good. So you better make sure you use that code ANGRY30 at CanadaDips.com to get your 30%. And I'll see you next time, Shamers. All right, that's enough. It's time to kick this thing off. A lot of people have been asking me what did I do to get kicked out of the Army. I already know I'm not going to be able to fit it all in one video, so I'm going to make a part one, part two, part three. I can't wait to see this three-part clown show. Now, I'm going to call it right now that this guy made a boo-boo, but he still wants attention. So he's got to get his attention by telling his story and dragging it out as long as he can so we can get a whole bunch of likes to make his hurt butthole feel a little bit better. Well, if you want attention, I'll give you some of that attention. 20 bucks since this guy puts his cash app in this fucking thing. And I done so much fuck shit. Oh, so much? Oh, so much? But this is just what you got caught doing? Oh, great. So you just got a stellar record of being a shitbag. Outstanding. Great. What a wonderful resume you're putting out in front of the world. What a shining example of the Army values. You better not put this bullshit on somebody else's shoulders. Oh, I bet you will. But you better not. You already stated, oh, you done all this fuck shit. And I done so much fuck shit. Whoa. But before I tell the story, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of background, all right? I graduated from Fort Lee, AIT down in Virginia, but I got stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So that's only like a two hour job, you see what I'm saying? So one day I get the wise idea to just let, like LT came in the room, ignore him. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna drive back down to Fort Lee and sell vapes because that's where the money at. Your plan was to buy a bunch of vapes and then Go to basic training and sell them to trainees. Your brilliant plan is to fuck with Tradoc. There it is. That's a fucking mistake. Drill sergeants don't fuck with Tradoc. Selling vapes is where the real money at. You know what I mean? I'm gonna drive down to Fort Lee, hop out in PTs. You feel me? Hop out in PTs. Act like I'm a trainee. Put a camel back on. Put a mask on. You know. You wore PTs and dressed up like a trainee? Oh, I'd fucking murder you. <laughs> I would fucking murder you. Big ass bag of vapes. It's just, you feel me, just selling them. You dressed up like a trainee and just thought you'd slip in? Oh, oh, cause we don't do accountability formations and find out we got one more extra dude in formation with a fucking backpack of strawberry cloud bullshit that we can smell? You must be fucking high around and got caught by one of my old drill sergeants. Great plan! I see you really thought this fucking one out, genius! Oh my god. You know he say, he say, is that Tor? Ain't you at Brad? Yes! Oh, you thought you were so slick! So slick with your idea! You went back to your same fucking company you graduated basic training from like a month or two prior? You think your drill sergeants just wouldn't notice that the fucking guy that ain't supposed to be here no more just showed up? 
just just fucking showed up and everything's okay? Idiots. I mean, when he said that, my, I ain't gonna lie. My heart pounded, no cap. My heart, I'm so stupid because I got caught up because I had earrings in and PTs. That's how I got caught. We can tell when one of your buttons isn't buttoned on your fucking trousers, but a whole new soldier just popping in from before? Is this, this kid is brain dead. Been holding his breath ever since the gas chamber. There's no oxygen getting up here. You can't fool one of us, earrings. Yeah, that's right. The small things fucked you over because we noticed all the small things. Your pockets, your fucking ID tags. You better be standing in formation with the fucking shape and we know the difference between shaving last night and you doing it that fucking morning. We nitpick the smaller things because the small things lead to bigger fucking challenges. Huh? Seems like there could be an analogy there for your small fuck ups and your major fuck up of your goddamn career. He like, is that tour? I'm like, shit, yeah. Then they, they started asking me questions. Eventually, I'm like, man, fuck that. Take our running on the ass. Boom, 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 boom. You ran from a drill, Sergeant? Nah! <laughs> You're just gonna die tired, idiot! And if you think there's just one drill, Sergeant, all we have to do is bugle call to our buddies down to the next company, and there's a fucking swarm of us. Oh, wait. Before I continue on with the story, I'm gonna cut some things up real quick, because we got some people making fake accusations on me. I have never sold weed. I have never smoked weed. I have never sell weed. I don't even know what weed smell like forever. Ugh. You don't even know what it smells like? Listen, dummy. Don't shit in my cereal and tell me that it's a chocolate log, okay? Give me a little bit more respect than this fucking bullshit. I don't even know what it fucking smells like. Yeah, okay. Okay. I don't even know what we smell like forever. The fucking head of the People's Republic of Integrity is telling me that he's being 100% honest, never smelled weed before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll take that at face value. Originally at the defect. I had no business being there. Like I said, I ran into my old drill sergeant, so I take our runner. Before I took our runner, they asked me a couple questions. It was asking me what company I'm in. So I told him my old company, Echo 832nd. The problem with that was, this was Echo 832nd Drill Sergeant. You said your old BCT company? Let me tell you why that's so fucking stupid. No private stays or works in their battalion that they graduated BCT from. Like, ever. Ever. I know I'm fast, so if I run, they can't catch me. Oh. I hit the corner and I'm gone. Boom, 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 boom. I made it to like the first smoke pit. Out of nowhere, one of the drill sergeants said, Hey, stop that guy! Soldiers started running up trying to tackle me and shit. Like, they end up catching me. This guy's such an idiot. His baby idea of making a little extra coin just started off as a dumpster abortion. Like, that's it. Like, oh, this little goo goo guy guy. This, this is a good whomp thud. Dong. The empty fucking sound of meat hitting the inside of a dumpster. That is your beautiful idea to make some extra coin. Once they catch me, all the NCOs run up and gather around me, and they like, what's in your bag? All, they, they dumped all my vapes on the floor. They like, where, where you from? Like, you not from here, where you from? Tell them where I'm from, they take my cat, they take my phone, and, and they call the police. They even took a picture of me. <laughs> that fucking mugshot! Look at that fucking mugshot he's got! All out of breath, looking dusty, cause you just got tackled in the mud, looking like your dick just got smacked. Oh, it's the saddest thing ever. Oh, I love it. I bet you they fucking took that photo and put it everywhere in the fucking company, battalion, post area to make sure you never get back on again. For shadowing. Oh, and remember that because this guy wants you to think that he's a fucking business genius out here just selling vapes. That's where the money's at, man. That's where the money at. That's where the fucking money's at. Because that's where the money at. Yeah, but he's a businessman. Because that's where the money at. I'm so good at business even though I got fucking caught and I'm still kind of bragging about how smart my idea was even though it fucking bombed. Because that's where the money at. The police came, they seen I didn't have nothing illegal on me, so they let me go. Long story short, I drew back to Fort Bragg. I had to sign into battalion, and I picked up my second Article 15. Whoa, 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 whoa. Second? Second Article 15? You haven't been out of BCT more than a couple months, and this is your second Article 15? Oh, I gotta hear about this first one. 
You have private. This this fucking military life ain't for you. You are filled up on fuck up fuel. I got off extra duty. Went back to Farley. There it is. There it is. You just get out of basic training. You got two Article 15s already. And you decide in your brilliant business mind. That's where the money at. That you're going to go back. Back to BCT land and do the same fucking thing. Oh, he's a genius, everybody. He's right. So business fucking savvy. That's where the money at. All right, everybody. I know y'all been waiting on part three of how I got kicked out the army. So uh, I posted it on my backup account, Kari underscore not. Follow my backup account. I need more followers. This is the new way I'm going to make money, even though I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. More fake internet clout. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go. So after I had got caught selling vapes the first time, I went back to Fort Lee for a second time to sell vapes. Again, one of these. Yes. Stupid shit. This time I wasn't alone. I had brought one of my mans with me. So you can say I had an accomplice. This! This is why you're not allowed in the fucking army! Cause you're so good at fucking up that it's contagious! I, I can already see the conversation of you talking your boy into this. No nah, man, no nah, man, it's all good. They caught me once. They couldn't possibly catch me again. So like I said, I drove back down to Fort Lee. I'm not gonna lie, something felt weird about this day. My ex called me, she bad luck. You are bad luck. Don't you pawn this off on anybody else. You are filled with bad ideas. And the unfortunate thing is, they're kind of good ideas. They're just executed horrifically. A hamster with half of a frontal lobe could have done a better job. I drive to the shop at on Orleans Island and I'm just chilling in my car. Before I could sell a vape, a drill sergeant was already at my car. Shit. So what happened was somebody, one of the trainees, told the drill sergeants that we were there to sell vapes. Oh yeah! Oh that's the brilliance of basic training! Is another trainee heard and probably saw how fucked up you and all the other trainees that wanted to buy them vapes got. Oh he saw that and said, no no no! No 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 not for me! Oh and did you forget about this? Your malingering mugshot that was plastered probably everywhere on post? Huh? The one that's got you looking like a chump El Chapo? The Bin Laden and the bad lying? A dumb dumb dabber? Once the drill sergeant came up to the car, you know, of course he gonna be asking questions and stuff, like, what y'all doing here? When he asked me anything about babes, you know, of course I said no. Ah, oh, no shit! I wonder what could possibly have made him suspicious! As if the whole fucking post isn't already on high alert from your bullshit! At this point in time, I just wanted to leave, but the drill sergeant had different plans. I ended up just putting my car in reverse. So as I'm backing out, just wanting to leave, the drill, the drill sergeant get behind my car, and he talking about I hit him. This motherfucker didn't just run over a drill sergeant with his car. So now, the drill sergeant calls the police, and since he claiming that I hit him with my car, now it's a hit and run. You know, drill sergeant! Pop right back up, get on the phone with the MPs, and ran down that fucking car like the gosh dang Terminator! I just want to chill out and just chill, just lay low real quick. We just wants to chill, as one does, after vehicular assault, violating a shit ton of UCMJ, and the highly inappropriate contact with trainees for a second time. Now that we're off on this island, my man is insisting to me that we drive, that he drives. I guess he felt like he a better driver than me. Uh-huh. Your car that you drove for two hours to get on post that you ran a drill sergeant over with. You're just gonna let it off to your boy now. Oh yeah, now it's the time. It's his idea, his idea. And uh, cause the switch, that switch totally happened. An MP military policeman gets behind us and this man did not stop the vehicle at all. I'm not here to bullshit or lie. I did not intend on going on a high speed chase. I am not about that life, I swear to God. So boom, the police behind us, um, that's when the chase happened. That's when. When they switched seats. Fuck me. They, they they behind us and we're still on post. The police are following us off post. So this lasted from on post to off post. Once the sheriff got behind us, that's when he eventually stopped the vehicle. And guess what he asked me to do? Don't you say you didn't make the same fucking mistake you made your entire pathetic sham career. And think that you're so smart and everybody's just so fucking stupid. He asked me to swap seats with him. But you must be crazy. 
Like what, bro? There's no way, bro. You just took us on a high speed chase and now you don't want to own it. You dickhead. Oh yeah, yeah, I believe you. I totally believe you. The entire car chase was just your boy and then you switch seats. You just fucking switch seats after a car chase. Right, right, cause I'm, I'm dumb. It's like he thinks we never saw an episode of Cops and saw this fucking bullshit excuse before. If you wanna hear what happens next, you gotta like the video for part four. Like for part. Get out, cause you can't make it two years without all this shit happening. And it isn't even all that shit, remember? Remember when you said, Man, I didn't done so much fuck shit. Here's why you don't belong. You don't respect authority. Fuck authority. Fuck your lieutenant walking in on you when you're doing a TikTok. To just let, like, LT came in the room, ignore him. I'm like, I right. Fuck the drill sergeants. Fuck all the rules. And two, you don't even learn from your mistakes. You just do them over and over again. Like some baby that's been getting beat in its soft fucking skull and can't say more than one word. You're the criminal equivalent of a fucking Scooby-Doo episode. Run, oh, Raggy. There's a roller over there. Being rocket stupid! Like Zoic Scoob! He's got a bunch of vapes! That's where the money at. You can't tell me that this fucking idiot, later on down the line, would end up getting somebody fucking killed because he just wanted to do his own fucking thing and not do the right thing, or became some sort of fucking sharp violation. Enjoy your early retirement and your dishonorable discharge, which is what your mother nicknamed you after your father left. Is he done yet? All right, listen here, my little shamer. You're still making TikToks in your dear uniform. So I think you might have just shamed everybody into thinking you got kicked out when you just got busted down to e nothing and are doing a little bit of extra duty. So let me share a little bit of sham advice for you. Keep your nose clean for a little while. And for gosh sakes, just because you got a good idea doesn't mean nobody's going to see through it. Create a backup plan and stay away from the totally illegal things that you ain't supposed to do. And don't forget, sham on, private. Sham on. Yeah! Oh, thank God. Never gets easier. Oh, by the way, I got new sh- Hello. Now, before we get started, Shit. You shit all over your own dick. I don't know how it's possible. Probably hung yourself upside down and then shit on your own dick. Oh.